What's the word, gang? So look, man, we got this whole situation when it comes to Lil Woody. Now, this dude went to court today, testified. And something that came out from the testimony is that he was behind the shooting at Rich Homie Kwan's father's barbershop. Now, he has spoke early in this trial about Rich Homie Kwan reaching out to him. And Rich Homie Kwan was like, yo, was that you who did that? And he was like, no, no, that wasn't me. Then Rich Homie Kwan was like, oh, okay, well, I got a job for you. You know what I'm saying? And I knew even then, I'm like, yo, I need Rich Homie Kwan savvier than people think. He was asking him that because he knew he had did it. Even though, you know, some people think they slick. And Lil Woody Case, he say that he slick. He ain't uh, outsmarted the police. He ain't told them a lie. Where well, they ain't opened up a investigation on Young Thug and started the whole Rico. And it turns out that the stuff that he's saying ain't even true. Now, this is what he say. The lady in court today, the prosecutor, she was basically saying how, look, they had to verify this information. They had to make sure that before they even opened up this case that these things that you were seeing added up. Do you remember that? I don't recall. <laughs> That's his favorite line, right? I don't recall. And I'm going to play some footage from the trial in just a second, y'all, so stay tuned. But um, also another thing that came out, the real reason why he claimed that he snitched on Young Thug. He said, oh, Young Thug didn't do it. So therefore, since he didn't do it, he felt like he could put all this shit on him because since he didn't do it, won't no problems come his way because he ain't do it. Now, do y'all believe that? Y'all get in the club and say, y'all let me know. I think that's some total bull. I think that's BS. You know what I'm saying? Since the internet going crazy, YSL Moody, right? Or is it Moody? Yeah, I think it is Moody, right? Or Muda. Anyway, we about to play some footage of him. He basically came out and spoke on this situation. He basically said that YSL, Lil Woody, who ain't really YSL, he 30 deep. He's one of the biggest rats they ever seen. He's saying that he getting his little fame, and now he's trying to recant his statement because people are watching now. Now he don't want people to think he a rat. He want to think that he played the system. Yeah, right. I don't believe that. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't believe that he played the system. That dude is not that smart, y'all. He portrayed to be smart, but I don't think he that smart. But anyway, let me get to this footage, y'all. Get in the comments and let me know. I'll probably do a live. Y'all want me to do a live? Get in the comments and let me know. Stuff for the Cloud Chaser TV. Gang. Me and Threat shot up Rich Homie Corn dead at the shop on Bankhead. I don't know what happened with Threat and Rich Homie Corn, but I'm going to ride with my brother. And they was beefing. And, yeah, we pulled up and did that. Okay. <laughs> Me and Threat shot up Rich Homie Corn Daddy Bobby. I said, thug did this, thug did that, thug did, because I knew they would never, I knew he didn't do it. And they, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. So it was easy for me to try to throw the blame off on him to get them off of me. And that's what I was doing. There's no way, bro. You just went in there and said, the police kept locking me up. So I put the blame on him, on thug. They kept asking me about him. So I put the blame on Okay, listen, y'all. What in, in what part did that make sense? Bro, that man is the breadwinner for his family. He's a superstar artist. Why would you go in there and lie on the superstar out of all, all the hundreds of that's, that's around? Why would you tell on the, the artist who's the breadwinner who haven't did completely nothing Literally. Why would you go put his name in the mix? There's hundreds of around us. And you could you put you could have went and put one of these small time street punk ass who be just linging around, group ass be around, throw their name in the mix. You go do that. Well make 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 it make sense. You trying to get up there and cap now cause you got your little fame going and you don't want to get labeled as a rat no more, but it's too late. Don't try to get up there and got you know, recant your statement now. Even though, get what? 
They need to the free slime, man. They need free slime like immediate, like immediately. They see shot up goofy, man. This, he's not a credible witness. Why is he even on stand? Take his bitch out of jail. He committed the crime. His bitch ass need to go to jail. Like, why would you do that? Make it make sense. I mean, this is y'all running around. Y'all pick me at hoe. Run around, goddamn. Uh, y'all tripping. Y'all get mad at me because I'm saying something. Come on, bro. That shit don't make sense. Make it make sense, y'all. Y'all think I ain't gonna say that? I'm gonna say something. I don't know what y'all talking about? Home a bitch. You the worst in America history. I be out here doing gangster shit. I'm talking about for real in the street. But you turn around and tell them that has nothing to do with nothing. Why well, you the worst type in America history, boy? And you still be trying to be gangster right now to this day. I don't want no smoke with you, boy. Bitch ass. Y'all keep talking about DK, DK, DK. Don't none of y'all even know DK. No, now one of y'all know DK. I bet one now one of y'all go pull up on DK right now and tell him he'll rat in his face. We ain't talking about no guns, no violence. Well, we are gonna get violent. Punch one of y'all ass out. Y'all don't need no shouting. <laughs> y'all better go do y'all history. DK something jail. DK didn't get no Rico started. DK went to prison and did his time for the for the crimes he committed. Shout got his life together now. Shout go to work. Shout take care of his kid. Shout ain't in the streets. You got Wood who still think he in the streets, bro. Y'all be seeing the shit he post. I don't still be talking. About, I'm in McCannaville. I'm outside. I'm did that in the third. I bet. I'm gonna go live on Cleveland. I'm gonna pull up a crash shot. My boy. And you capping. Boy, sit your bitch ass now, boy. You ain't finna do nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing until I'm the jail. I will beat your little bitch ass up, boy. Every time you go live, you're not showing where you at. You got your camera angled to the point where you can tell what type of gas station you in, what type of store you in. I would pull up and punch your little bitch ass out. You, a f you the worst in history. Come on, bro. You got my brother now fighting for his life. You lied on him, man. Got them, got these folks investigating him, man, bro. This man got them up. Is a superstar artist doing shows and not even in the streets. Like, come on, bro. Man got a big family, man. Got kids, bro. You took their kids and they family, bro. Like, that shit lame in hell, bro. That shit lame, dog. You don't do shit like that, bro. You don't go get caught for some shit that you did and tell on a n who has nothing to do with nothing. That's the worst type of rat in America history, boy. Come on, man. Real people from Atlanta know what's going on. I know what I mean. People who know me for real, who been, who done been around us when we ain't have none. And we was running around cleaning them. And we ain't have none. We wearing each other clothing. And we still were doing what we were doing. Y'all understand my pain. Y'all feel what I'm coming from. I don't see nothing cool about. There's nothing funny about what bro got going on right now. That's why I came on the internet and he even said.